nearly a minute faster than Ian Friston and held a comfortable four-minute lead over the escort. Mahesh Halai was on course to win the S-Class with a superb performance that will see him finish inside the top 10 overall. He had coped well with the conditions and will be a real title contender this season. Alistair Keith's brilliant form on the first round had not carried into the Nyeri event. Despite being quick early on, he had dropped back to third in class after breaking a drive shaft. The two-wheel drives were back in action on stage 7 and it was Dennis Mwenda who finally got the better of his rivals, taking back over 30 seconds from Adnan Suhail. It wasn't enough to overhaul him for the class win, but Dennis managed to finish second in class for the second event in a row. Adnan Suhail had dominated the class from the beginning of the rally, despite the limited competitive kilometers he still won by over a minute to increase his championship lead. So far. Very, very good rally. What, I mean, what was, what you about? Uh, the stages are very well, very good stage, good decision from the organizers. Just a bit on the safety, that's all. Yeah, a bit more emphasis on safety. Dalbir Thethi completed a Toyota podium in the two-wheel drive category and will be looking forward to another good result in Voi. Ian Friston had a very enjoyable event, entertaining the crowds in his Mark II Escort. He would eventually win the class after Geoff Bell retired on the road section back to the final Super Special. Um, I think there's, yes, there's less pressure on us. You know, it's more about going out and enjoying ourselves rather than, you know, necessarily winning. Although winning is very nice as well. Indeed. Hardev Singh Sira moved up to third in the classic class after Aslam Khan hit trouble and would later be promoted to second when Geoff Bell retired. Malcolm Destro had rolled out his 260Z for the Nyeri Rally as part of his preparation for the classic safari rally. The car was working well and the crew were rewarded with the final podium position. Ian Duncan had been fighting back after losing time with punctures on the fifth stage. He was on course for a top five position when disaster struck on stage nine, a repeat of the Django to ASK stage. Sitting at 150 km an hour, the crew met an ambulance driving against rally traffic whilst airborne on a blind brow. Unable to avoid it, he collided head-on. The damage to his car was extensive, but thankfully, the crews in both vehicles escaped without injury. The stage was stopped by the organizers, with the remaining crews given a scratch time before being rerouted back to the ASK Stadium for the final Super Special. The final super special stage was won by Carl Trundo, cementing a dominant victory on what had been a difficult rally. The defending champion was happy to get his title defense back on track after not scoring in the first round. We decided to push today and, and I really wanted to push through the 28k, the CS7, which was kind of the best section in the rally and it was great fun and it proved we got a puncture towards the end so the gods were with us again, So, but yeah, it's all good. But. Other than that, I'm very excited. Baldev Chaga brought the new Evo 10 home in second overall to extend his championship lead. The car had performed well and he will definitely be challenging Tundo for victory on the upcoming rounds. We're definitely, uh, they're just a couple of seconds off the pace and I think that's just a matter of getting used to the car uh, more. Uh, but it definitely feels quite good now. Quentin Mitchell took the final podium finish with a steady drive only eight seconds behind Chaga. He will be hoping to find some more speed to challenge for overall honours. I just wanted to get to the end, so we found a pace that worked well, the notes worked fantastically. Um, so it was, it was a good day in all. Azar Anwar once again brought his car home in a top five position. Experience in the mud had paid dividends. Driving just fast enough not to lose touch with the leaders, he was once again rewarded with good championship points. Jasprit Chathet took fifth overall, another crew to retire on the first round, he had once again quietly shown his potential on this rally. Frank Tundo, co-driven by daughter Natasha, brought his Evo 9 home in sixth, making it an all-family affair in the top six and proved that he hasn't lost some of his old flair. Mahesh Halai eventually finished eighth overall and took the S-Class honors in his beautifully prepared Impreza. John Nganga came back from a slow start to claim ninth overall. Isa Amwari's first outing in his new Evo 9 gave him the top 10 finish he had been aiming for. It was a tough first outing for the car and he will be hoping for better conditions in Voi. Prize giving was held inside the stadium to the roar of thousands of spectators who had gathered to enjoy the Super Special. As Flash Tundo and Tim Jessop sprayed the champagne, there was much for the crews and organizers to reflect upon.
The top 10 had some new faces from the Cadiado event, the tricky conditions proving a real test to the competitors. With Kavanagh, Duncan, Barrage and Mangat retiring, there was a chance for the others to make good championship points. Flash Tundo had got his championship title defense back on track and moved into third overall with this win. But after a win on the first round and second in Nyeri, Baldev Chaga now had a commanding lead. Azar Anwar's consistency means he lies second in the championship. Adnan Suhail made it two for two and now has a 40-point lead over Dennis Wenda, but there are still plenty of rally miles left and the pair will look forward to renewing the rivalry in Voi. Mahesh Halai drove a superb rally to claim the S-Class win and top 10 overall result on a difficult event. He now has a slender lead over Alice Dear Keith with defending champion Jasunda Chana still in touch. By virtue of two good results, Hardev Singh Sira now holds a slender lead over Aslam Khan. Victory on this event went to Ian Freeston. Geoff Bell had been fastest and as the season hots up, there is plenty to watch in this category. Round 3 takes the competitors to Voi in the heart of Elephant Country, bordering the world-famous Savo National Park. Three stages repeated through the legendary Taita Hills will offer a more technical challenge to the drivers, taking them on roads made famous on the safari rally for so many years. We'll see you there.